Hey guys, what is going on? I am here to react to the pitch beating for the 1992 Aladdin. For those that do not know, I do not like remakes. And when I saw that Disney remade a lot of their animated films, I was very disappointed. And there were a few of them that I just chose not to watch. Aladdin was one of those films that I generally liked as a child. I was a big fan of Jasmine. I still to this day kind of like it. And I could honestly say that Robin Williams made Genie. I saw the Will Smith one. I was just like, ooh. When I say saw, I just saw trailers and people talking about it. I re then I refused to watch it but since it's up here and I realized after going through all my videos that I never reacted to it here we go hello didn't see you there just enjoying a delicious hot cup of coffee from my own coffee store oh yes fresh coffee bean company which is also the sponsor for today's video my online coffee store delivering amazing coffee to your front door within a week created for artists by artists to keep them motivated and caffeinated without leaving their workspace. Also, this awesome coffee mug, you see it? You see it? Well, I have other awesome mugs as well that we sell in the store, as well as different ways you can make coffee at home. All the information that I discuss will be linked in the description bar below, so do check it out. As well as, don't forget to take advantage of the 10% off of your first purchase after you sign up to our email list. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin what? Like like in the city or something? Just Aladdin, that's the guy's name. Oh, I thought this was like a Scottish thing. Never mind. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna meet this shopkeeper guy and he's gonna be like, I'm gonna tell you the story about a magic lamp. Okay, and we'll come back to him at the end. No, we'll never see him again. <laughs> oh, just fully abandoning your framing device. Yeah, completely. Wow. Uh... And we're gonna have this cool song about Arabian night. You ain't gonna lie, I never thought about it. Like, the guy comes, like, in the first two seconds of the film and never comes back again you would think especially how films are made that we would go back to him since he's the one that's telling the story but you don't and i didn't think about it at the time but now like as i'm watching films i'm like yeah that guy never came back whatever happened to that man yeah that'll be nice yeah it's gonna be like where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face it's barbaric but hey it's home oh i think that might be racist <laughs> oh whoops whoopsie should i change it or no nah, let's keep it like that and if people get mad we'll change it for the home release well now that you bring it up i feel like people are probably gonna get mad now nah, let's just keep it well okay then so what else happens in the movie yeah i never thought of it honestly you know people are gonna get mad at anything i actually enjoyed the song i was singing it not really knowing what I was singing at the time now going back and listening to the lyrics I'm like oh yeah this is kind of a violent song but I still enjoy it just by default I enjoyed it because it came out in the 90s we're gonna meet this princess Jasmine and the law says she has to marry a prince before her next birthday or what vague consequences oh that sounds bad <laughs> yeah it might be how old is Jasmine anyway she's like 15 oh this whole thing's gonna be a little creepy then isn't it yeah if you stop to think about any of it for sure well let's hope people don't do that <laughs> Finger. Thank I didn't think about it when I was younger because in my mind Jasmine was definitely way older now looking at the film you can tell that she was young but I didn't realize how young she actually was as a matter of fact when it goes back to Disney animated films the women in those films were actually very very young like child ages it's actually kind of weird when you look back at it but I, again at the time I wasn't thinking about it. It was just a great story being told that had a little bit of, you know, creepy vibes to it, but I still enjoyed it. So anyway, she's going to venture into the market and meet this poor guy, Aladdin. That's the name of the movie. It sure is. So they're instantly going to fall in love, but he's going to get captured by some guards. Oh, no. And then this bad guy, Jafar, tricks him into going into a cave. Oh, tricking people into going into caves is tight. Yeah, and the whole thing about this cave is that only one can enter, and he has to be a diamond in the rough. Oh, very mysterious is the cave full of treasures it is so aladdin Ooh. enters with his monkey abu i thought only one could enter yeah well abu is an animal so i guess it doesn't count wow too bad jafar doesn't have an animal companion oh, oh he does actually he has a super smart parrot named iago oh so why didn't he send iago in because that works yeah so anyway <laughs> inside this cave they're not allowed to touch anything except this magic uh. lamp oh sounds serious yeah it is so they immediately touch a flying carpet oh my god so what happens nothing they become friends with it oh trust me i definitely called that out i'm like he's not they're not supposed to touch anything, but because this carpet is like, I guess, magical, it was okay. I mean, I was a child at the time, and even though I thought it was cool, I still thought it was kind of weird because he wasn't supposed to touch 
anything. But he ended up touching the carpet. I'm just saying, I was a child when I saw this and I still found it odd back then. So that no touching thing was nonsense? Well, no, because then Abu touches a ruby and the whole place starts to fall apart and into lava and stuff. Right. Oh my God. Yeah, and they almost escape, but then Jafar betrays them and leaves them for dead. That's not very nice. Nope, but luckily Abu managed to grab the magic lamp and a big old genie comes out of it. <laughs> oh, a Aww. big old genie. And the genie can't make people fall in love, so Aladdin is like, okay, I wish for you to make me into a prince. Oh, right, because he's in love with the underage girl. Yeah, so that'll lead us into this whole story where Aladdin... Why does he say it like that? He's <laughs> Yeah, so that'll lead us into this whole story where Aladdin is trying to get with the underage girl, but it's not working. Very weird. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and the genie's gonna be like, well, you know, you should tell her the truth. You're not a prince. Wait, so he didn't make him into a prince? Apparently not, I guess, or him being a prince would be the truth. Wow, Aladdin kind of got a crappy deal here. <laughs> yeah, but he definitely made it look like he was a prince. Like he had a big parade with right. a bunch of loyal subjects cheering for him. Like, Which was actually a really cool scene when I was watching it as a child. Actually going back to watching any of these animated films would be perfect honest this the the singing the music just everything that made a disney animated film an animated film was just great actually that didn't make sense when i said it everything that made the disney animated films back in the day classics i still love to this day that whole scene where they're singing the song and you know showcasing him as the new prince i loved it i feel like for the most part these 90s films aged pretty well simply because they did not go the you know, the CGI route, everything was basically hand-drawn, which still holds up now. Made it look legit. Wait, what loyal subjects? Unclear, but there were lots of them. Did he create life just to pretend that Aladdin is a prince? Maybe. Wow, this genie's like a god that went insane. Yeah, so anyway, now Jafar <laughs> wants to marry Jasmine so he can become sultan. How does he plan on doing that? Well, Jafar is able to manipulate the current sultan to get whatever he wants. First off, let me tell you something right now. Just knowing the age of Jasmine, everything leading up to the end is weird. And once I got older and realized the age of Jasmine, it all ended up being weird. And I know he's gonna bring it up. I just wanted to say it first, just so you guys don't think I'm saying it because Ryan George said it first. It was weird. Manipulate the current sultan to get whatever he wants. Oh, like he has a way with words? No, he has a staff that lets him magically manipulate him. What? Yeah, he has like a magic cobra staff, lets him hypnotize people, get them to do what he wants. So why doesn't he just make the sultan relinquish his power? I don't know. Why doesn't he make Aladdin go away? I don't know. Why doesn't he make Jasmine marry him? Okay, please get off my back about this mind control stuff. It's I mean, yeah, when you think about it, if it's that powerful, he literally could just will anything into existence. It's just, you know, Ryan, I still love this film by default. I love it. Just because you're bringing up things that make sense does not change my feelings on this film. It's just weird to give the guy who wants stuff the power to make people give him stuff. Yeah, well, I'm a weird guy. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know if that makes up for it. It does, actually. So anyway, then Aladdin uh... is going to take Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. Oh, he is? Yeah, and he's going to say super romantic stuff while they're up there. Like, don't you dare close your eyes. Oh, so he threatens her? <laughs> yeah, but in a romantic setting. I feel like that makes it worse. Well, she's into it, so it kind of works. Well, okay, then. And then eventually Jafar gets his hands on the lamp. Uh-oh. Yeah, and he exiles Aladdin to this snowy, freezy place so he'll freeze and die. Yeah, cold Connecticut in the middle of January. And trust me, it sucks. It sucks even more for Aladdin because he's definitely not wearing socks and he's not pre well prepared for the conditions that is New England winter. Oh, well, it's going to be hard for Aladdin to get out of there. Actually, it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Jafar sent him over there with his magic carpet. Oh, that's very considerate of him. It is, so Aladdin, you know, just kind of flies back. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, and he manages to defeat Jafar by tricking him into wishing he was a genie. Oh, very smart. Yeah, <sighs> but now Aladdin's not a prince anymore, so he can't marry Jasmine. Was he a prince, though? Not super clear, but he's definitely not anymore because his clothes changed. <laughs> well, okay then. But Aladdin promised Genie he would use his final wish to set him free, so now he's got to be like, ah, I got to choose between love and keeping my promise. Why doesn't he just do both? What yeah. do you mean? Well, he could wish to be a prince, whatever that means, then give Jasmine the lamp and she could wish for Genie's freedom. Oh, that's smart. Huh. Yeah, that would solve everything. Well, then let's just pretend like this is a dramatic moment then. Oh, okay, I love pretending. <laughs> great, and so that's about it. Well, sounds great. Oh, and we're going to have to get somebody really good to play the genie. Uh, oh, we are? Yeah, he has to be super charismatic and funny. Maybe we can get Robin Williams? Oh, he'd be perfect. He'd eat that roll up. Oh, yeah, he'd just be irreplaceable, so goodbye to future remakes and stuff. <sighs> 
okay first off just because they put will smith in the role of genie does not mean that he did it any justice okay robin williams was still the best it's like remaking fresh prince of bel-air and putting a totally different actor in it yeah it might be okay and yeah it might pass a bit but it's not going to be the same as having will smith as fresh prince of bel-air so let's be real robin williams was better will smith did not need to do this role and if we're going to go back to my original point remaking disney animated classics is so unnecessary there that's my rant for this video because there's going to be future ones trust me all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely give it a thumbs up if you really like it definitely subscribe let me know in the comments below were you a fan of the 92 version of aladdin did you enjoy the one with will smith better than the one with robin williams do you feel that robin williams did the genie amazingly like to the point where why the hell did they put will smith as the genie for live action let me know in the comments below i'll be very intrigued to read what you guys think also if you guys do not know i have a patreon now now, most people that have been following me for a while know that I have a Patreon, but I added two new tiers that I'm going to talk about right now. Now, the two tiers have to do with my coffee store, Fresh Coffee Bean Company, that I discussed early on in the video. I decided to create a coffee club for those people that love coffee, don't know too much about coffee, but want a little bit of variety without having to get up and go to the store and search for the next best option. I deliver coffee to your place of residence. There's also a few other perks in that. That and there's two tiers for it so you can choose which one's gonna best work for you it's gonna be a great time first off you're gonna be able to explore more of the store and more coffee and then connect with other people that are into coffee and have a little bit more knowledge about it in comparison to the people that just love the taste of caffeine on their tongue all the information about the patreon as well as the film commentaries that I have up there will be linked in the description bar below so do check it out also don't forget to check out my coffee store as well because we have some really awesome content content up there as well for those that just like the convenience of having coffee sent to your door you can also do that too if you didn't want to join the club but i definitely say for the price you should definitely take advantage of the coffee club because i believe you're going to love it if you like variety and you enjoy coffee with that being said guys if you guys like what you see you know what to do like subscribe hit the bell so you're always notified about the new videos that i have coming out the beginning of 2022 was a little rough for me I'm getting into the swing of things now and I got a better grasp on what I really want to do. So if you guys been liking what you've been seeing, you know what to do and I'll see you all in the next video.